Now we'll talk about how to set standard views in the VSP workspace. Now we know that we can orbit and translate and zoom an aircraft with the mouse, but if we want to try and move around and set a top view, it can be tricky to do just with mouse operations alone. What's handy is you can go to the view tab in the menu bar and choose top view and it centers your center of rotation and aligns everything with the top of the coordinate system. Now what VSP treats as the top is looking down the Z axis onto the X, Y plane. So in VSP, you notice that Z is up, X points aft, and Y points out to the right. This is just a standard coordinate system for the aircraft. In a dynamics environment, for example, uh, Z could be down and your coordinate system could be different. So just be careful uh, when you're working with coordinate systems so that you understand where you are in space and what frame you're referencing. But we have a number of these available to us up here in the view tab, say the front view if you want to look at the face profile or check your dihedral, etc. What you also notice is that the shortcut keys for all of these are labeled here. So F5 through F12 give you quick, easy ways to jump between standard views with the aircraft. So that's a quick, easy way to snap between these different viewpoints so that you can quickly jump back and forth and take a look at your aircraft from multiple views without having to go to view and click every single time. This is also very useful, for example, if you want to get a top-down view and line that up with a three-view drawing of an aircraft, you'll know that when you snap to that view, you've got it lined up how the plan form should look, and you can quickly align everything accordingly.